Now, in order to understand all the calculations that we have to do concerning matter, we need to understand this basic unit called the mole. Now, what is that? Well, first of all, you know, how many atoms are in this pencil? Oh, atoms are so, so very, very tiny that there are cause gazillions in here. So the thing is, we need to be able to quantify that. And that was done a long time ago when Einstein really uh, put, the, uh, put, the, put the number uh, to... Now, in order to understand uh, all the calculations that are going to be involved with chemistry, you're going to have to understand what the mole is and what the mole concept is all about. Well, if I asked you how many atoms are in this pencil, you would say, uh, uh, lots, a couple? There's cause of gazillions of atoms that are just found in this, the smallest portions of matter. So what are we going to be able to do to, to quantify that? Well, um, in honor of uh, Emilio Avogadro, a number was found out and substantiated by Einstein back in the early 1900s through Brownian motion. Uh, there are very interesting labs that you can actually do to be able to verify this number and to be able to get it. That number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, is Avogadro's number, which describes how many, now let's go, let's just be very basic about this, how many things there are in a mole, whether those things are atoms or molecules. Oh, you could have a mole of anything. It's just like a convenient number now, like uh, a dozen is 12 and stuff like that. Well, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's how many things there are in one mole. M-O-L-E, and the abbreviation is, yeah, M-O-L. Okay, not much of an abbreviation, but that's what it is, and that's what we use in all the calculations that we're going to do. So, here's the thing. That number, um, 6.02 times 10 to 23, want to give you a little recap of that. That has three significant digits. The actually, actually, that number is 6.022 times 10 to 23 if you get four significant digits. Remember what the significant digit rules are. First of all, in counting significant digits, this number right here has how many significant digits? Well, it's got two. The zeros in front don't count. When you start with the first natural number, everything after that is called a significant digit. So here's the thing, not significant, not significant, one, two. So therefore that number has two significant digits because it can also be written as 1.0 times 10 to the negative two. So that is a two significant digit number. How many significant digits does this number have here? Well, that number's got, not, doesn't count, doesn't count, one, two, three. That's got three significant digits. Now, remember, that when you're adding numbers together, you are going to retain the least number of decimal places. That helps us to get the right cor and correct number of significant digits. So when you add or subtract, keep the least number of decimal places. But when you multiply and divide numbers together, keep the least number of significant digits that are found in the question. Now you're going to see me do a lot of this in calculating here. So just pay attention to the sig digs as we go along with these calculations.